Okay. Last one. What body confidence campaign, blog or project have you seen in the past couple of years that you've really liked? Why did you like it? So I did an amazing shoot for um, Hey Girl magazine, mm -hmm. um, which just basically celebrates diverse women. And that was great because when I did that, um, the emphasis wasn't on my disability, it was just me being yeah. An amazing woman, if I can say I'll that. Check you out. Um, and I believe you've also um, taken part, yeah, although you uh, aren't a woman. No, no, <laughs> I, just set case in point. But in in the the realms of equality, the the lovely crew at Hey Girl said we can't be equal if we don't have the boys there as well. And do you know what? It was really cool because there aren't a lot. There are some great campaigns out yeah. there. Um, but there are very few that I know of and probably get inundated with emails and stuff now, but you think about us, um, that I know of that talk about men in, in the same way that, you know, body image campaigns talk about women, because I think the, the movement is in a very different place. Mm -hmm. And I think male attitudes are in a very different place mm -hmm. at the moment. Um, there was a famous razor campaign that made the world blow up, mm -hmm. for example. Um, but it was really nice to to go out there and have a conversation, and much like yourself, the the conversation and the interview with Hegel wasn't focused around my impairment. It was just focused around me as a person. And oh, by the way, the the, the impairment is there, so that's that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, men, but it's <coughs> even more so, disabled men just don't feature. In stuff like this which is why I wanted to work with Trailblazers and why I think this campaign and this survey is such a good thing because it's one of the really silent voices is disabled men when it comes to body image